Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5, and in this episode, we can't waste any more time. We have to escape the palace, no matter what, and get Yusuke out of here. God. A lot of crap's going down. How could this be? That's for sure with Yusuke. So, this is inside of Sensei's heart. A vain museum such as this. Jeez. Like, seriously, man. Think about it. His mentor, his father figure, the guy that took care of him for all these years. Just to suddenly find out that he's the scum of the earth. This painting. Yeah. Do you recognize it? We're thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? <sighs> About that. Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. <laughs> Madarame saw them as objects, so that's why they're here. Noah, we found yours too. <laughs> I'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Yeah, we can settle this at a later date. God dang, this song is so sad. But, who can't stop now. We just gotta keep going. It is right there! <laughs> Who is it? What the? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? This... this is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat! 
This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolish you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. <laughs> Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! I am ready! Presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations! You tell me you stay in at long last! Our next party member. God dang, I love his persona and his design, so he's gonna kick some butt, let's go! But to really excel in this fight, we're going to just eliminate one of the Tengu and then let I pop- Oh, God, that did a ton. Alright, we're gonna work around that, but we want to go into Jack Frost and take care of all the others. Because Yusuke's primary way of doing damage is actually physical attacks, and god dang, does this guy hurt. But now that all the minions are out of the way, let's get to the buffing and- you know what, let's do it on Yusuke, why not? This is his time to shine! God dang, alright, I need to take down his physical attack, because he hits way too hard. Okay, so far things are looking good, now it's time to unleash the giant slash! Get him go on my- Oh my god, we even got the crit! That's what I'm talking about, now it's time to see- Oh man, he looks so cool in the all-out attack, god dang. This guy's a beast, man, and I'm not just saying that because he's a fox, and- Get that crap out of here! Even though that did hit me, that was gonna do next to nothing, but I Pondatara in this stage does not have any exploitable weaknesses. It's pretty much gonna come down to your <sighs> raw physical attacks. Get in there on. Oh man, that's actually resisted. Well, this is his first fight. He might as well get the last hit. God dang. <sighs> that scene was so insane. Like, 
I don't think they're gonna top that in my eyes. That was just incredible, to say the least. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist! Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But, we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> don't tell me. Oh, crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I see. And because of that, this P.E. teacher's had a change of heart. The phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame, Sensei. With Madarame is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. 
We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Ah, uh, so that was all a plan. Oh, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. It wasn't my idea, it was theirs! What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Give it up! Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Wow. So, uh... Hey. Yeah, not really who I said. I did not think he'd be that goofy. <laughs> He's pretty cool. And don't forget, you're still under probation. Got that? I'm messed up in your f Yeah, yeah. No, no good. No, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Yeah, come on. So is your... Well, I think if he knew what we were actually doing, he'd agree. Legal action? This ain't funny. Yeah. God dang, that would suck. If the police hear about this, they're totally gonna get in touch with the... Oh, yeah, we get kicked out again. We'll get expelled for sure this time. This will be the least of our worries. We'll end up arrested. Unlawful entry. Defamation. Guess that means we can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out, it really matters. Let's do it. Heck yeah. He still need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Yeah, seems like a solid plan, Morgana, but... Jeez. With Kamoshida, it was like pretty apparent, yeah. We're gonna get kicked out of school, but... Get kicked out like that? I didn't see that coming, I mean... Jeez. Our main character just can't catch a break, huh? But to prepare for our eventual assault on the palace. Now that we have that force field out of the way, our infrared light. I don't want the crab. Now it's time to prepare and get ready to assault Madarame's palace. But before we do that, you know I me. Mean? I got. I gotta start reading. You know. Sometimes we have a really big task up ahead. Can't focus on it entirely. Sometimes we gotta take breaks, and we're facing death. Her soul was free. Not just looks, but the way of her life was beautiful. Yeah, Carmen was pretty cool. And god dang, if she isn't very powerful in battle. You know, I haven't really been showcasing that too much because my main character's kind of been kicking butt, but yes, we completed the Alluring Dancer. Nice. Now that we got that taken care of, it's actually time to get a new book, which is uh, kind of funny. I guess we'll talk about that later, but All right. still working on our charm. That's probably going to be the next stat we advance to level three, or at least hoping, but 
Nah, I guess we'll find out eventually. I'm starting to get to the point where we're going to be skipping like some of the flavor text that appears in scenes. Like Morgana's gonna say, Wowie, you got a thing and Oh god dang, not this teacher. It's possible to apply math even to an abstract concept like beauty. The Golden Ratio is the Mona Lisa, and the Parthenon is a famous example. Cool. What's up with all these art-themed questions lately? But a different ratio has been used in Japanese art and architecture since ancient times. Do you know what it is? Kurosuke. Why is Mishima not getting called on ever? God. Yeah, I know what it is. It's a cool little graph. Just throwing that out there. What's the name of this ratio? It uses architects. You know what? Because this is really going to apply in my everyday life as an architect. the silver ratio. Well, platinum ratio would kind of be cool. Just throwing that out there. And the way she talks is so cool. I like her little accent. You can see it's closer to a square than a golden ratio, right? Maybe. One theory says it's because Asians have rounder faces than Westerners, so they prefer a similar shape. This ratio is used in things like... Ioku paintings and the pagodas and Harii Temple. Cool. Said that totally wrong. Unless you are familiar with the B4 size paper, it's similar proportions. Neat. Also, I don't know about that round face thing because people say I have a round face and I'm white as rice, boy. Yeah! Anyways, we got some points up. Heck yeah. Still not level two. With <laughs> I said heck yeah. Why did I say it like that? I don't know what's up with this t shirt. She seem. Oh yeah. Mascots have faces like that. In other words, if you use ratio, you can make cute things. Like mascot characters. If it's true that mascots tend to have roundish faces... Why are you looking at me like this? <laughs> I love how self-aware this game is. <laughs> you have a mascot character. They're not even hiding at this point. Like, Alice, I feel, is just like 100% proud of that aspect of their games. They should be. God dang, it's had some great mascots in the past, and we start inviting Yusuke to the hideout meetings now. Oh yeah, we got a new buddy! Fight's not over until the exhibit ends. Keep your head in the game. And God tell me twice, and she's telling me, dude. Okay, Morgana, we're gonna get. He's gonna tell me that like every goddamn day. But first, we gotta go get some new books because I'm a giant nerd. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, crap. This is not the right. Floor. Well, that's awkward. Anyways, we might as well talk to this weird character. We don't really seen too much of. Um. Oh goodness. You look kind of creepy. He's talking about Mr. Kamoshida. I wonder if those Phantom Thieves of Hearts really do exist. <gasps> oh no. If a Kisugi kun's heart gets stolen, I. <laughs> I'll knit him a scarf for his birthday. We'll be together. I just need to weave in my hair. Oh my god, girl, that is, first off, incredibly nasty. Also, it's a very nice gift, but you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Anyways, I forgot we could fast travel to God dang. I have to say. That is such a nice thing to add to this game. And you need something? Yeah, I've given, been through this a million times, lady. You know, I read a lot of books here. You think you'd give me another one in Ishikawa Goemon's Tale Experience the Guts to Defy Those in Power. This one, yes. Be careful. All right, I'm not going to destroy the book. And yeah, the day we meet up with Yusuke, we get his corresponding personas <laughs> book, which I think is kind of funny. And speaking of his persona, let's check him out. So. He specializes mostly in endurance and strength, and god dang, can I just say, some people dislike the persona designs in this game. How can you tell me this is not one of the most, like, extravagant, just... I love it so much, and it makes me upset when people don't like him and his giant pompadour, but anyways, check out his background. Ishikawa Goemon was a thief who stole from the rich and gave to the poor in Japan during the Azuchi Momoyama period. The kabuki scene of him sitting on the gate of Nanzen-ji is famous. Neat. And yeah, I don't know, man. I think just the fact he fights with a pipe and has these, like, super cool sh It fits Yusuke for a lot of reasons. Also, the fact that he's weak to fire is a reference to how he died. And I think that's pretty neat. Anyways, we're gonna do a confidant, this time in the underground mall. Yeah, this character moves around a lot, and I'm not a fan of that, but... On can be found here. She's not in the classroom, and hey, On, what's up? Hey. Oh, Akira... What do you think I'm doing today? We could hang out. That was on my to-do list. Are you sure about that? We still haven't found the treasure. Hmm. We can do it later. Come on. Eh, guess no point worrying if you're so sure. Yeah, come on. We can mess around a bit. And Oh, yeah. I started training. So you should totally help out if you have the time. Of course I got time for you on. Don't be silly. 
I'm going to take a break every so often. Do you want... Yes. I'm going to hang out with on. Don't be too jealous of Morgana. All right, let's go. Hmm, the best way to get to Inokashira Park is by train, right? I don't know. I just moved here on. Don't bully. Oh, I guess it is. Oh, it's a nice little swan. That's cool. Dang, but the photo looks pretty nice. And now we can invite people here and do crud. It'll be important for later confidants. Don't worry about it. And yeah, we're going to spend the day with on. It's a really nice place. Man, big open places like this are great. I think my train is gonna be super good today. Same. Or maybe not, I don't know. So remember how I said before that I wanted to strengthen my hearts? Courtesy Cheerios. Like, okay, that's a dumb joke. Well, I came up with a way to do it. Really? I'm curious. Um. I think having a strong heart means you don't want anything to get under your skin. Eh, not totally wrong. So basically, I want you to try to say stuff to me, and I'll try not to get phased by it. Uh, okay, what kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started! I won't let the hesitation shake me! That's not helping. Alright, whatever. I guess I should say something to On. Okay. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Uh, On, you're very unique. Yeah, yeah. And? Um, you're a hard worker? I guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What else? Oh, man, I want to pick this. Um, this is not working on. <laughs> what the heck? Gotta be more specific. You're giving up. That means I win! Uh, not really. Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? I thought you made the game up. Oh, well. On to round two. Yes. Bring it on. Um... <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> Let's go with that option because it sounds really sarcastic. Dots. Crap. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our personas stronger. Gee, what made you think that? <laughs> you finally get it. Good job, On. You learned that. Mm, something's not right. Is your pie alarm? Uh, I just got an email from my agency. Oh, yeah, your model, right? The shoot is. Really far. Wait, what's this at the end? Uh, talking about your email? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they'll tell you? Hmm. Apparently, some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Well, that's strange. Then, when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. <laughs> Sounds like shoots have been real hectic. With all the scrambling they've had to do for our substitutes. Oh, that sounds too bad. Is that ever happening? I doubt it, because she's. Seems pretty on top of things, On. Yeah. No, I haven't missed a single cheat so far. Oh, she seems pretty proud. Probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up, too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. I think you'll be okay. No, actually, my first model line gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still living in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event? What? Wow, didn't know that. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers. We put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. Aw, on. That's so sad. Then again, though, no parents around in high school. God dang, that'd be sick. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Oh, that's so cool. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around. Don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. <laughs> wow, that got our fast. <laughs> yeah, kinda! Hey, it wasn't bad to open up, and honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamoshida first spotted me, and that's how our class started those rumors. Yeah, screw all that. If you have fun doing it, though, why not? And besides, the fan days are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute. Yes. About that on, you will be substituted in the next dungeon. <laughs> Maybe. I haven't made my mind up yet, but dang, on is motivate. Yo, I like that about her. I like when girls have, like, goals, and, you know, they, right. they enjoy things. There's nothing boring. More boring to me than a person who's like, 
I just watched Netflix. And Johnny Awesome's video. Okay, the latter's acceptable. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was a female thief. She loses the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. Hmm. I want to grow up to be just like her someday. Well, you're on the right track. I hope I'm getting closer now. Only just a little bit. <laughs> getting there. Don't worry about it. Bye. On. You're doing great. Seriously, look into the Cheerios. They're just, they even have Cheerios in Tokyo. If not, god dang. It must suck to live there. I don't even like Cheerios. I favorite cereal I think is like Frosted Flakes, but I never eat it for some reason. Uh. Anyways, don't worry, Sojiro. I'm not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like skating in Atlas games. I don't know what you, if you call it that, but to me, that's skating. Anyways, today, guys, oh. it's Bionutrient Day. I wish you could like put like your own notes oh. in the calendar. That'd be kind of cool, because I have to do it on like a notepad when I have to do it next, and All that's right. kind of annoying. I prefer this method. Anyways, I'm actually gonna head back downstairs. Totally ignore how the main character changes clothes instantaneously. <laughs> Just look at this. Look at this. Oh, you saw someone doing this in real life. How would you even react? Anyways, we're gonna do an ST event with Sojiro, and I can teach you the ropes. I mean, are you already kind of doing that? And yeah, we're gonna hang out with the chief. Put your stuff down. Grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. If you forget them, kick. I got it. Don't sweat it in. Yeah, we won't be able to advance the confidant rank this week. Which stinks. Hey, later down the line. Actually, I don't know about this week. We might be able to, but Thanks. definitely not tonight. You know, sometimes you can't really avoid it. Just gotta spend the night advancing and oh boy, one of these scenes again. Hearts, what try hard. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't called that a couple times. Like, I don't know. Is that really? That's like the worst, like best compliment you can get. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, you try very hard. Okay, it can be taken a lot of ways. It's like, wow, you're a try hard, yet you still fail, or like, wow, you're a try hard. I don't know. When I play like online games and stuff like that, sometimes people say that, but I think it's just like they're mad they lost. I don't know. It depends on the game. I'm not gonna try my hardest and like if it's not, you know, rated. Right, but if it is, boy, you better learn. Yeah, 14 days left. Crap, until legal action. We better hurry and level up more confidants. Like, Ons. No, we're not gonna do Ons. I fooled you all. She's not gonna be here. What are you, stupid? Instead, we're gonna drink some god dang cruddy drink stand juice. Ugh. Man. And from this, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get charm, because it goes in the the rotation, right? Yeah, he puts his things up like that. Actually, no, it's kindness. Crud, I was wrong. You know what? Still, I'm so kind now and healthy. I'm the epitome of attractiveness. Madame, gaze into my silky smooth skin. Are you not tantalized by... Oh. You don't seem like you're acting. Oh, Alright, whatever. I don't got time for you. We're actually gonna hang out with Takemi today. It seems like we're hanging out with more girls than guys as of late. I don't know why that is. Then again, I guess Sojiro counts too, and yeah, it gets warmer, perverted teacher, a bunch of weirdos came here because of my message, right? It's just totally, yeah. In that case, my little guinea pig, there's something I want to test out today. Okay, you have my attention. Are you going to hang out with Takemi? Heck yeah, I am. Alright, let's check it out. What do you got for me this time? It's going to be a pill that sees through taunt. Nah, that'd be kind of overkill. That's all for today. Dang, we caught a break today, man. We didn't die, and we're done. Hello. Sick, and Dr. Takemi, Clinic of Internal... What? Again? That's... well... That ship's already sailed, so... Um... Something wrong? What a pain. Uh... Care to elaborate? You remember that girl from the other day? The Chief of Staff Oyamada's patient? Her dad's bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. Wait, how'd you do that? You did such a good job. 
I even told them about the medical error I made. Huh. I guess they trust you, right? That's good. Did so well the first time. <sighs> I'm just a quack, though. I think you're a good doctor. Hmm. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Enns disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. Wait, you're going to tell me about what happened? With Crawford Enns, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. Well, there hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had to reach the final stage of production, but one day, I was suddenly removed from my position. What? Why? The chief of staff, Oyamata, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. My god. I... I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Miwa. And that's how, yeah, Miwa-chan had a reaction and lapsed in a critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa-chan and her family resented me. You didn't do anything! No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. My god. I had no idea. Is that why you're giving me this That's medicine? Fine, I guess. Mm, well, that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at that hospital. <sighs> at least now I can keep working as a general practitioner. Or on my own terms with my guinea pig. Yeah, there's some positives, I guess. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. But oh! <sighs> we really need to talk about that, but... Hey, that's good, I guess. You have a lot of faith in me. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Uh, please keep it formal to hey. Kimmy. You better not flick on me this late in the game. Don't plan on it. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. I can do that, I guess. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. Counting on you, guinea pig. Uh, jeez. I didn't know she had a, such a noble cause for all these experiments, jeez. She's trying to make amends for something right. that she did in the past. Kind of, I guess, clear up her name and maybe her conscience, mm. too. By reading into it too much and... No. What should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. I could... Tell him off, I guess. Oh, sorry. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now. Alright, jeez. <laughs> you know, I've said it in, like, past just playthroughs. I have a lot of respect for people in the medical field, right. but... Man. Bye. Takemi's a pretty cool doctor. Just throwing that out there. Like... Just like that, your whole opinion on someone could completely change. You used to be afraid of her because, god dang, she's kind of creepy, but she's doing that to make sure no one has to suffer from that disease again, even as rare as it may be. It's pretty cool in my book, just saying, but that's going to pretty much do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yusuke awakened to his persona, Goemon, and I gotta say, that is been one of the best I say that every time when someone awakens but seriously that was insane we also leveled up some confidants with on and Takemi and while well, in the coming days we're gonna be doing a lot more of that because Madarame's palace is not to be messed around with so in the next episode it's time to grind
Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.